Okay, we're back. Um, we're back, everybody. Come on. Thanks. Our what? <laughs> that wasn't planned. Uh, we got one. <laughs> we got our one person in the audience. Would you like to get in front of the camera so they can see who you are? Come on. Jim, also known as Swag. Now go home now. No, just, kidding. <laughs> just kidding. We'll pay you later. Okay. Thanks, Ben. Thanks. Um, going back to that, um, God's love. Anthony, you want to bounce off anything Derek said about God's love and all that? Yeah. Um, I want to, on, on the, the topic of love, um, Rob Bell seems, in, in his book, he seems to think that God's love precludes any type of judgment or wrath and things like that. And that God isn't really that serious about sin. But one of the things that you can tell how serious God is about sin is in Romans, I think, six, chapter 6, verse 23, it says the wages of sin is death. The reason why we die is because of sin. Well, is, well, is, it, is it like a chemical imbalance that causes? Well, in the, if you take Genesis as literal, which more, many Orthodox people do, um, then... The reason we die is because that was the death sentence that God gave to Adam and everyone else because he kicked Adam out of the Garden of Eden, did not let him have the Tree of Life, and, and basically sentenced him to death, to physical death. Um, so one of the consequences of sin is, is that, we're die, that we die. So if the consequences for offending someone is them causing you to die, they would probably take it pretty seriously then, because I don't, I don't kill people when they offend me, mm -hmm. but God does bring upon death, so that shows you how serious he is about sin. But as far as love and things like that, love throughout the Bible has always been tied to um, wrath and judgment mm -hmm. throughout the Bible, and the people that God loves, he saves them in the midst of that wrath. You think about... Um, uh, Noah, I mean, that was, I mean, everybody in the entire world died except eight people. Mm -hmm. And those, seven of those people were because of the love that he had for Noah. But Noah was still in the midst of the judgment. So the love that God has is one that shelters in the midst of judgment. So judgment is always tied to it. And Noah was inside what God called uh, the, the, the ark, right? And was covered with pitch, with a covering which represents Christ, and, you know, as you know, the ark is like Christ, but then you have Sodom and Gomorrah. That's another judgment in which God's love is shown for people, and there is still fire coming down and killing people. Um, you have the exodus. You have the exodus where people, they, they have the, the plagues, you have the firstborn being killed, mm -hmm. and all this judgment coming on where God takes out and covers a particular group of people, and then all of a sudden you have all these, which are supposed to be shadows of the thing to come, and then apparently when Christ comes, there's no more judgment tied to the, to the, to the people that God loves. There's no more judgment tied to it. It's, the shadows are like half, a, like half as good as, uh, you know, as they could be. And, you know? and the fact is, what you're saying is, is right on. God saves people. And some people may not like it, but Romans 9, I mean, he has mercy on some and he doesn't on others, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus redeemed the people to himself. Um, you know, this is a very, this is a reality. Some, everyone deserves judgment. Yeah. Some receive it. Some don't, thank God. Um, and we're not going to get into numbers. I, I think a lot of people receive both. Let's just be, let's just simplify it for time's sake. Yeah. Um, but let's end this. Um, we just got a couple more minutes. Uh, and I'll, I'll go back to you, Derek. Let's make it practical. How does somebody know God's love? Well, I think you know God's love by receiving, by faith, the love that, that God demonstrated for you. I mean, Romans 5.8 would, would be a great verse to use. God demonstrated his love for us in this, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And Jesus' blood and righteousness, his death, and his perfect obedience in our place, died in our place, lived in our place, if we, as sinners, trust in that by faith, we receive that love. 
we can know that love. Amen. And it's important to recognize that you deserve God's eternal judgment in hell because you've broken His law, His commandments. And one must recognize that mm. before they can appreciate and understand that Jesus died to absorb that very wrath you deserve. And if you place your faith in Him, He'll forgive you. Yeah. So, well said. Thanks, guys. I hope uh, everybody enjoyed this and uh, have a good night or a good day, whatever time of the day you're watching this. Bye.